G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how I make something that I've made up myself um, some years ago and it's called, well I've called it, a seafood chili tomato recipe. And you can put anything in this really, or any meat you like, but this is how I make it, so let's go. Alright, now get a deep saucepan, deep frying pan, something that's quite deep like this that either has a lid or you can put something over it that will be able to steam it a bit. Now put in some oil. I use extra light olive oil and put in one brown onion. So just cut it up. Throw in two crushed cloves of garlic. Now leave this for about five to seven minutes. We want this to start to caramelize a little bit. All right, now throw in one red chili. Take most of the seeds out, just leave a small amount in. We don't want this to be too strong. Now throw in one capsicum, cut the capsicum up into strips. I believe in America these are called ball peppers. Looks like this, so if that's called a ball pet a bald pepper. <laughs> if that's called a ball pepper in America, that's what you want. Here in Australia they're called capsicum. Now get one can of whole peeled tomatoes, put the whole thing in. Then fill the can up with water and pour that in. I'll give this a little bit of a stir. Now we're going to start adding some spices. Put in a little bit of pepper, just about six or eight grinds. Put in about one tablespoon of marjoram. Now I like to use this stuff, it's Sicilian style seafood seasoning. So about a dozen or so grinds of this. And about one to one and a half tablespoons of Moroccan seasoning. Now get four tomatoes and just place them straight in, like this. Now put a lid on, if you've got one, and just leave that and just check it every five minutes or so and give it a stir. Well, that's looking really good. Now put in about one and a half cups of natural plain yogurt or Greek yogurt. Don't put in vanilla or anything, it needs to be natural yogurt. So about one and a half cups, can, can be as much as two if you like. Just give that a bit of a stir, just stir it in. Now what this is going to do is give it a beautiful sort of light cream taste that just will take away that that spice. You don't want it to be too spicy, you'll still have it spicy but this will just mellow it out a little bit. Now throw in the seafood. Now what I like to do is have about six to eight scallops. Just throw them in. And some fish. My preference is salmon. So just cut up salmon. Not a, not, not a lot. And then some prawns. Now I'm not giving you any particular amounts because it just it varies on your taste. But I mean, the amount of prawns that I'm putting in here is probably about 250 grams. Now, just mix that in. Put the lid back on and let this simmer for about five minutes and then we're done. Mm. Alright, that's ready. 
Oh yum, this is going to be amazing. Well, I hope you really like this. I love it. Uh, oh, it's just so nice. I'm just straight into it. Oh, prawn, sauce, everything. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's divine. Oh. Mm, really good. Mm. I'll see you next time for my next meal.